yeah, but you have to prove it. And I'm like, you prove it first, scientists. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, the theory of evolution, there you are. And I'm like, uh-huh, have you proved it? <laughs> no, it's a theory. Okay, well, here's my theory of the male menstrual cycle then. How's that? <laughs> but Craig, you can't prove it. No, neither can you. So. Anyway, in the male menstrual cycle, uh, which doesn't make any sense, of course, I understand that. But look, it's television, it doesn't have to make sense, it just has to fill time between the commercials, that's all it has to do. <laughs> no, Greg, it should make sense, really? What about great TV shows like Huckleberry Hound? Does that make sense? <laughs> he's a dog that can talk and he's slightly depressed? That doesn't even make any sense! <laughs> if a dog could talk, he would be cock-a-hoop! <laughs> You know what a dog would say if he could talk? He'd say, I can lick my own balls! <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so you guessed I'm not lying about having nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> Luckily though, during the commercial break, I'm going to do something very interesting and then tell you about it. <laughs> We'll take a break, and when we come back... Oh, I've done that already. <laughs> what, what number of shows is this? How many have we done? 11.37. This is 11.37. This is show one... in no way try to be through. The folks at home might think you've been coached in some way. <laughs> Not like on other TV shows where the audience are just left to do what they like. <laughs> they can't. They can just walk. Uh, if you like something up on, if you don't, uh, you make up your mind. <laughs> you make up your own mind. Don't have anyone pushing you around. <laughs> What kind of a day is it? <laughs> I'll tell you a creepy thing that's possessed me. <laughs> it's a great day for America, and I will get it. It's a great day. <laughs> I was doing a lot of words there. Yes, hello. What the? Yeah. Anyway, it's a great day for America. A great day for Justin Bieber. Although he's not American. He's a Canadian. Yes! He, he lives in a little burrow and combs his hair forward and stores up nuts for the winter. <laughs> His adorable little pouchy cheeks. <laughs> He's got his little wheel. <laughs> anyway, Justin Bieber announced on the Twitter. You know me, I'm always on the Tweety. And he uh, he announced that, that, that a movie of his life is going to be released next Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, come on, faster, faster! It's next Valentine's Day, and it's going to be in 3D. <laughs> 3D. The 3Ds are dimply do eyed and durable. Anyway, I'm just saying to myself, do we need a movie of Justin Bieber's life? He's 16! 16! I don't want to see pimples squeezed in 3D. Break me off a piece of that. Yes, exactly, Jeff. 
Thanks, Jeff. Anyway. <laughs> oh, by the way, did you... Other in adorable young people news, that England's Prince William and his girlfriend are uh, the 12th cousins, which means they might not be able to get married. <laughs> makes sense. We don't want any of these royal kids to look weird, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but you wouldn't want that. You wouldn't want any royals to look kind of inbred in any way. <laughs> or even worse, to look like Prince Charles. That would be awful. <laughs> do, we, do we have a picture of Prince Charles? There he is. I mean, that's, that's what happens when your cousins get married right now. Look at that. <laughs> So long, knighthood. Anyway. <laughs> There's very big news from the world of dinosaurs. Brett Favre is retiring from football. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have to be honest, I don't get that, but one of the crew made me tell it. <laughs> and I was too scared to say no, because when, when you're not here, they hurt me. <laughs> There is big news in the dinosaur world. Uh, uh, one of the most iconic dinosaurs is under attack. I'm talking about the Triceratops. You know the Triceratops, right? It's a big, wrinkly, horny thing. <laughs> That's my new movement for remind you of anyone. Anyway, the scientists are saying that Triceratops might not have existed. I'm like, what? <laughs> Like I was looking through my newspaper, I was like, what? <laughs> it's true, take a look at this. Look, scientists try to may not have exactly on CBS News, and that's CBS News, and if we can't trust them, who can we trust? <laughs> can I see that web page again? Go, where's that little story down in the corner? Can you zoom in on that article at the bottom? What the <laughs> this before, but I'll say it again, because it bears repeating. Scientists don't know nothing. <laughs> you heard me, geeks. <laughs> For years they were saying Pluto was a planet. I went to school. I studied them like planets, Mercury, Jupiter, Pluto, a planet. I learned it. I got it. Then they're like, oh, no, no, Pluto is not a planet. And if you call Pluto a planet now, you get scolded. It's like, oh, it's not a planet. It's a dwarf planet. <laughs> <laughs> Although it it prefers to be called Little Person Planet. <laughs> but now, scientists are saying the same thing about the Triceratops. They're saying this Triceratops that we've known and loved for years is really just a young Taurosaurus. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> I also don't know what a Taurosaurus is. <laughs> Do we have a, you got a picture of a Taurosaurus? That's... <laughs> Benicio Del Toro! <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Anyway, uh, the word Triceratops, see how much we care. Anyway, <laughs> the word Triceratops is, uh, translates uh, to face with three horns. It's from the Latin. Thank goodness paleontologists didn't name me. I'd be known as head with lesbian haircut. <laughs> Judge an American Idol? <laughs> anyway, you got a picture of a Triceratops. Uh, there you are. No, that's the Triceratops. No, they weren't really that big. Uh, the, the man next to the Triceratops, show me again. Yeah, that's a midget right there. <laughs> it's an old dinosaur trick. When the male dinosaurs were trying to attract lady dinosaurs, they would stand next to a midget to make the genitals look bigger. <laughs> I did the same thing back when I was dating. I would do the same thing. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> and my midget. <laughs> I prefer to be called little person. Shut up, Pluto. <laughs> anyway, at this rate, the scientists will assume the, the, the Triceratops doesn't exist. Then, next it'll be the Brontosaurus, then the Stegosaurus, then the T-Rex. And before you know it, my footy pajamas are covered in lies. <laughs> when it comes to dinosaurs. For years, scientists argue about, uh, about the dinosaur found here in West Hollywood. Uh, Holly, Hollywood. <laughs> oh, Gucci. No, you know, they, there were dinosaurs in West Hollywood, apparently, and they were trying to figure out what they were, but they couldn't decide if it was a Triceratop or a Triceratobottom. <laughs> Craig. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I thought you'd recognise that. That's part of the gay subculture slang. I thought you would enjoy that kind of... Ignore me. Are you in a huff tonight or something? You feeling bad? What's wrong? No. So you feel good then? No. Okay, I'm not getting into this. I'm not getting dragged into another one of these passive-aggressive exchanges. No. No, shut up! We have to take a break. When we come back... <laughs> you'll still be having trouble sleeping. <laughs> Unless you're watching on the TiVo of the computer, and in which case, stop it, because it's illegal, mostly. I don't care. <laughs> we'll be right back. Summer living with Sean Connery. Going to the beach is my favorite part of summer. Unless it's Donna summer, then it's going to the vagina. <laughs> I was a little too on the nose, perhaps, wasn't it? <laughs> Gather round and creepy old Uncle Craig will tell you the tale about the time when he was young. <laughs> do you know, uh, a lot of people say to me, Craig, put pants on. And I do <laughs> But you know what, I was, I, did, I was part of Shark Week this year. People said, Craig, did you host Shark Week? I'm like, don't be ridiculous, how can you host Shark My next guest is a shark! Ah! <laughs> host Shark Week? But I, was, but I was in Shark Week, and, uh, and the special airs tomorrow night on the, uh, on the Discovery Channel, which is not part of CBS. <laughs> uh, anyway, the thing is, people said, when you went diving with the sharks, Craig, did you uh, have a cage? And I said, no. And people are like, oh, you're lying. And I'm like, really? <laughs> if only there were a way to get part of my Shark Week special from the Discovery Channel and persuade using lawyers, CBS, <laughs> to show a clip of that. <laughs> God. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? How about some fresh tweets? Uh, how about some fresh tweets? <laughs> is good to eat. My name is Scooter. I'll fix your computer. I'm a happening guy. I'm a dope troubleshooter. When you call tech support, you'll be talking to me. I got more business than my Atma Gandhi. And emails. Alright, welcome back from the jingle, everybody. Oh, I forgot to do this. Alright, uh... <laughs> All right, this is uh, from Mike in uh, Heber City in Utah. Heber City or Haber City? Like, I always get these two mixed up. It's like Bill Paxton and Bill Pullman. I know, me too. Anyway, uh, Mike says, hey, Craig, I work on a TV show called Wanna Go Fishing. Do you want to go fishing? Is this a gay thing? Because if it is, I do. <laughs> All right, this is from Kay in Wilmington in Delaware. Uh oh, it's one of them. It's one of them credit card things, isn't it? They always come from Wilmington, Delaware. Yes. By the way, the, I got an email from a guy in Nigeria that's going to give me twenty million dollars. So, so long, suckers. 
Anyway, Kay in Wilmington, Delaware says, Dear Craig, why is the top button on your shirt never buttoned? Well, you see, there's a story there. It used to be buttoned, but over the years, as I've been doing this show, in about the past three months, I've not been buttoning it. Thanks for your long-term viewership, Kay. <laughs> I don't, I don't button it because my neck got very fat, and as I get older, my neck is beginning to sag. <laughs> lower, lower, lower. And so I'm just creating a sort of waterfall effect. Jiffy, likey. Uh, you, you like anything in skin. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you getting back in the swing of things anyway, not just sitting there quietly saying no. No. Uh, see, I knew, I knew, I was walking into that. All right. Um. Mm. <laughs> I got a little awkward, didn't I? <laughs> uh, this is from Deb in Marion in Illinois. Uh, Deb says, uh, Greg, uh, if there were a pill that let you become the opposite sex for just a week, would you take it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm European. I've taken it. <laughs> you have no idea where I've been. Oh, this is, uh, this is from Ben and Menden in uh, Maine. Menden in Maine? No, that's not in Maine. It's in Massachusetts. I always get Massachusetts and Maine mixed up uh, like Bill Paxton and Bill Pullman. <laughs> Me too. Anyway, uh, Ben says, Dear Craig, whatever happened to that giraffe and the Salvador Dali thing you used to do? Oh, yeah! Back in the days when I used to button my collar all the way up. <laughs> we used to do the Salvador Dali thing. I would go, uh, oh, yeah. Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh yeah! Ooh. There it is, still there. And then the giraffe was, ooh! Oh, oh yeah! There, ooh. Wasn't there, there was Andy Warhol as well. What was that? Eh... <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> was that the sign for Andy Warhol? I can't remember. Or maybe it was... Eh, eh, eh. Eh. Yeah. Well, they both seem to work, so... They're still there. We just don't use them as often because if you know anything about this show, you know we don't do callbacks. We don't do callbacks and we don't repeat the same joke night after night. That's one thing we no. don't do. We don't. We don't do that. We don't rely on repetition and, and the, for humor. Do we have a picture of Angela Lansbury? <laughs> no! 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 Look, it's show 1137. Here's the rules. When I ask you for a picture of Angela Lansbury, you show a picture of Paul McCartney. Voila! Right. Now, when picture of Paul McCartney, you show a picture of Angela Lansbury. Jeez. Um, this is from Nella in Waukegan in Illinois. I've been to Waukegan in Illinois. I have. Oh, don't you shake your head at me, you passive-aggressive bastard. I have. I've been to Waukegan. What did I do in Waukegan? Oh, yeah, I remember I ran into Angela Lansbury. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is, uh, Nella says, why do divers enter the water, water backwards and head first? They don't. <laughs> no, they don't. Wait, like that? <laughs> Who does that? That would be stupid. I mean, sometimes you do it. If you're doing a backwards roll off a boat, sometimes you do it that way. I, I know all about diving. I've, I've been diving with sharks. Sometimes I go night diving. Did he mean? You bet I did. But, yeah. Surely that can't. Yes, I can mean that. But you're not allowed to. What did I say? <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back.
back to the show. Welcome back to the Late Late Show here on CBS, where we're jam-packed with issues and we talk about stuff that's really important. <laughs> Nah, I'm sorry you're still awake. <laughs> Every, what happens to everybody? Don't worry about it. Sleep will eventually come. <laughs> and so will Freddy. <laughs> yeah, I got you for the rest of the show now! <laughs> anyway, my first guest tonight is a comedy icon. He's a good friend of the show, but not necessarily of me personally. <laughs> He's all right, I guess. <laughs> oh, he's lovely. He's a comedy icon. Please welcome Jeffrey Tambor, everybody. Jeffrey Tambor. Hey, Jeffrey. How are you? You know, I'm all right. I'm all right, actually. Good. I'm all right. Yeah. It, went, it was a bit ropey earlier on, but it's picked now that you're here. No, it's wonderful. I, um, if I'm such a friend of the show, may I ask a, 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 an indelicate question? Yeah. Okay. I notice there are pictures all over and backstage. Yeah. I, I've been here a, a number of times and yes. there's not a picture. There's a reason for that. Oh, yes. Yeah, we, we don't have one. Ah. <laughs> See, I thought that. But we're going to take one tonight because yes. many of these cameras are on. It's saying no. There's no. No, I'll send something in. It'll be nice. Why don't you send a picture of yourself? I would. Or Maybe. I could, I could do, uh, or I could do someone else. Uh, whatever you like. What do you mean? You could do someone else. Is that, well, no, is that a gay that's, thing you're uh, doing there? No, no. Let's, every time I'm on, we talk about. Every time I'm on? Is that another thing? Oh, no. You can't do that to me. How you can't you? do that to me? No. Is that another thing? <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, that's it, and just a, a late night show jacket, and that'll be fine. Oh, you want one of those jackets? Yeah. Anyhow, yeah. Wait, did you go to Comic Con? No, did you? No. Why not? <laughs> Actually, did go to Comic Con. Uh, I went to uh, to um, uh, do a, a film called Paul with Paul? Uh, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. Simon Pegg is very talented and, guy. He did uh, he did the uh, uh, yeah. and then he did the uh, yeah. then and he did the ooh, ooh yeah. yeah and then he also co-starred in the ah, ah yeah yeah that was a trilogy, wasn't it? Yeah yeah yeah. It yeah. was the ooh ah uh, uh, oh. <laughs> so uh, I was there, and there was a minor. Dis I don't know if you. There was a minor disturbance before our our, our panel. There was. Oh, a was that when the guy got stabbed? Well, no, no. I don't think there was. A, there was a skirmish of, of sorts. There was a. You, you all know that, but then there was a guy in a. Uh, they know what skirmish means. <laughs> yeah, but let's spell skirmish. Yes. Oh, anyhow. If um, they could spell, they wouldn't be here. <laughs> and so, yeah, there was Does a... Does that say the prize is right? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, and th they were there, and uh, Seth uh, Rogen and Jason Bateman. But I think the skirmish was over trying to get closer to me. Was that... Were you at the panel where the person got stabbed in the eye with a, a pencil? Yes. Yeah, it but was it wasn't a, in the eye. It was yeah, near the eye. I was the at the eye. one where they, it was a pen. Yeah, I see. I think this has been blown out of proportion. It's like when everybody's saying they see yeah, a green white I think shark. Yeah, I think there was. You blah, 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 and then a pen got thing like yeah, that. Yeah, people were going like that, and a pen was involved. Yeah, and yeah. Suddenly, as he was stabbed in the eye can with a do, pen. Can you, you really? do? Yeah. Can you get this picture, by the way? How are they going? Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the picture I want in the hall. <laughs> Yeah, right. Then we could do that, actually. We put yeah. that one in. Yeah. 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 So. How are you otherwise? You all right? I'm fine. Are I the have, kids, are kids uh, okay? The kids are great. I have 10. Uh, uh, 10 kids? I have 10 Wait, kids. What? I have uh, two 10 month old twin boys. I know. That's yeah. why I asked. It's very odd. <clears throat> I, that's why you did ask, right? Yeah, yeah. Because if you didn't have kids, it would be kind of indelicate. Yeah, to say, how to are say the that? kids? Um, things are very, very good. Um, uh, except when I go up to uh, people, they say, oh, you're out with the grandchildren today. And I go, <laughs> I know, these are mine, and they go, come on. <laughs> Which is I, f f rude, right? Yeah, it is. And rude. then uh, is uh, men, they go, are those your, they're really yours? I go, they're my children, and they go, <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is very rude. Do you know, my wife is, I'm, I'm 48 years old, my wife is pregnant. Really? Yeah, and uh, that's just my resume. And the. <laughs> are you really pregnant? Well, my wife is, I'm fine. <laughs> 
No, but you're really... Uh, really? Yeah. Mazel. Thanks. Hey. Hey. Anyway. And away, baby. Hey. And people like, people like to say, you're 48 years old and you're going to have another uh -huh. child? And I'm what like, do you think they say to me? Yeah, how old are you? I'm 48. <laughs> And, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm 60... 60? Five. <laughs> six. 66? No, 65, six. You're 656 years old? No. Man, you look great! <laughs> hey. Hey. But, no, and people say mean things, especially on, on the, what is this called? Tweety? No. Internet? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I, I, look, I, I, Tweety's a, a, an area of the internet. I'll get into it, Grandpa. Isn't that the but one when when <laughs> no, Tweety says suffering fuck a oh. No, that's Sylvester. Tweety <laughs> Tweety. <laughs> but there was a Tweety, right? Yeah, yeah, Tweety was the bird. Yeah. Well, actually, scientists have now proven that that bird never existed. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. You know, you ever think scientists are just full of tootsie frootsie? Yeah, oh. like that. You, you can't say uh -oh. on, on late night. <laughs> They'll cover it up with something adorable. We'll be fine. I'm thrilled about you. Yeah. So yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 yeah. People say mean things. They're like, "Oh, you're you're 48. That means when your children graduate, that's you'll what be... they say." And I'm like, well, well, "Shut! Will you shut up?" Yeah. It's true. If my children graduate, they'll be the first of the Fergusons. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do graduation in my family. <laughs> Did you get my call? I called you. I called the office. You know, these guys have do such a great job. Now I sound like a shill. I'm sorry. But I, I, I called when you were all on vacation to say that you got a great review in the New Yorker. Do you know about this? No. Did you know about my call? No. And there's no picture in the hallway? <laughs> anyway, see, see, it's all related. Yeah. Anyway, you got a great review by, I think it's Nancy Franklin, of the New Yorker, and she was talking about... The New Yorker? That's clever people. <laughs> Anyway, she said that you were her favorite. I don't know if it was Nancy Franklin, but it was the TV critic. And I called, and big deal. No one calls me back. No one, hey, hey, hey. We were, no on, va we were on vacation. <laughs> That's fine. I'll call, we don't have an I'll answering call someone machine. else. <laughs> I, I left a message with the receptionist. What am I, chopped liver? We don't have a receptionist. Oh. <laughs> Who did you? Oh. I think you left a message with someone else. I know, because he said, I have to clean up. Can we make this short? Yeah. <laughs> No idea what you're talking about, man. Janitor, janitor. Oh, right, right, right. right. Yeah. What else? Well, you know, my wife's pregnant. and uh, Anyway, so here's what I found out. Because I, I, I looked up guys who are older having younger children. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Charles Chaplin. Yes. Eight children. Yes. After true. the age of 55. That's right. Yeah. Right. Charlie no. Chaplin of silent movies has right. a son. His youngest son is the same age as me. Sidney Chaplin. No, uh, that's his brother. I don't, no, Sid Chaplin's his brother. He's a bit older than me. Gary Chaplin. Gary, no, I think, it, I think it's Susan Chaplin. Really? Yeah, he went through some kind of procedure earlier on. I, I understand. Yeah. But there is a club of people who are, are, who are older. But I, am I part of that club at 48 years old? All I have to say is, yeah. hey! Yeah. Yeah. No, I think it's great. Don't you know, you know more about life now than you did then? I do. I was uncomfortable. I'm in jail, less. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think that makes I mean, me a better right, father, right, quite frankly. Right, yeah. I think he's hardly in jail at all. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Less DUIs on my part, so well, that's there fine. You know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And we have more, we have more to say. Hey, no. I can just see the uh, audience now. Jeffrey Tambor is talking about his children. Come on, quick, to the television. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Turn off other interesting things. Yeah. Greg, I, wait a minute, he's so talking. Long, Shark Week, Tambor's talking babies. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Uh, not much. Uh, what else were you? Nothing. Really? No. I'm. No, I can't talk about that. <laughs> That's no, I the can't. one I want to talk about. No. Come on. No, I can't. Come on. I can't. Come on, just a little bit. Give me a clue. I got in trouble at the public library. Yeah! Come on, what happened? They had the yellow signs up, and I went to get my kids. What yellow there. sign? Don't enter. All right. And out of none the of these people have been in the library. I'm trying to oh. help them. And it said, you know, slippery and no movado or whatever those words are. Cuidado. And no cuidado. 
Yeah, why not? No cuidado. And so I went in there and uh, to the men's room, and I really, really had to go before well, I got my. You're, you're 66. You, yeah. you got, you know. And and he said, now. And so I went into the women's room. And you monster. And there was, and I went past the trespass, and I went as quietly as I possibly could, and you know, and I. Uh, what do you mean when you were actually doing your and, business? Right, and when ones I went. Ones or twos. Out, ones or twos. <laughs> when you're 66, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, it all matters. So long, Shark Week, right. Tom Bowers, Tom right. Bell movements. When you're 66, it's three. <laughs> 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 so I came out and there were people like this. And I said, uh, and they went, and the man said, big tall man with glasses said, well, guess who doesn't like to follow rules? <laughs> I, and I said, oh, please. And then the woman behind me said, there have been a number of incidences. And I said, isn't it incidents? <laughs> and I said, please, and I was only kidding, please, 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 please don't take my library card away. And they went, <laughs> and they were fine. I don't even know if they were friends of the library or I, I don't know, but it was, it was awful incident. <laughs> Well, that's what would be, uh, life would be like if we didn't have the internet. Now, people who are like that yeah. don't have to go to the library to judge you. They can judge you from the comfort of their own home. <laughs> and they can go, there have been incidences. <laughs> oh, when your kids graduate, you're going to be 105. Right. And then they, they put on one of those faces like. Uh. <laughs> yeah. We're out of time. I gotta go. <laughs> sort of existential, what we're doing. Well, uh, you it's like, out, we you just went into a Beckett play, by the way. <laughs> we're this, out whole, of time. this whole thing is a Beckett play. I know. This whole thing. Yeah. This whole thing. Try to be uh, someone have, be in the office when I call to. Con I was so excited. We still have an office. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna embarrass you. You do a great job. See, I hate when you do this. You do a great job. Welcome back. <laughs> Forgive me while I pet my shark. <laughs> now making his late, late show debut, a very funny comedian. You can catch him at Birmingham's Alabama, Birmingham, Alabama's Stardome. <laughs> Actually, I've been there. Hey, hey, hey! At the Stardome in Alabama, in Birmingham, it's a fantastic club, actually. And uh, this young man's here all week. Drew Thomas, everybody. Drew Thomas. Thank you. I've been thinking about getting married lately, but I think men and women look at marriage differently. When women talk about marriage, it's a happy occasion. I'm getting married, I got my friends, I got my colors picked out, I got four of my fat friends to stand next to me. It's gonna be a beautiful day. But it's not the same for the guys. When men talk about marriage with our friends, it sounds like something you get diagnosed with. Did you hear what happened to Charles? No, what? He's getting married. No! He was such a nice guy. When did he find out? She told him yesterday at dinner. I think it's the cost of dating that scares me. Like, the movies used to cost $20. You could get the movie tickets, soda, two straws, little popcorn. Have you been to the movies lately? It's $40, $50 to go to the movies now. I had to register for a class online just to get the student ID for the discount. <laughs> and don't let it be a short girl. I keep a pair of those socks in my glove box with the lace on top. Put these on, you're a child tonight. <laughs> 
I need one student and one child. Fold them down, buckle your shoe before you get us caught. Here's a lollipop, put your hair in pigtails, let's go. I took this girl to the movies the other day. I bought the movie tickets. Movie tickets tell you the screen number that your movie is on. So I'm like, oh look, we're on screen two. I start walking to screen two, she starts walking to the snack count. I'm like, do you know somebody over there? Cause you got a decision to make. It's the movies or the snacks. Nobody said they were gonna feed you. And I'm not cheap. I don't want the women to get the wrong impression. I'm not cheap. All I'm saying is eat before I pick you up. You knew I was coming. I'm tired of the club scene right now because everybody's a liar. Women are in the club lying, the men are in the clubs lying. You got older women in the club trying to look young, but you know they old because they got that vaccine mark on their arm. You got that vaccine mark on your arm. You are nowhere near 24 with that vaccine mark on your arm. I'm in the club, I met one lady, she had two vaccine marks on her arm. I said, you got polio, get away from me. You just started walking. I just seen you take your braces off in the parking lot. Sometimes I meet women with kids. I don't mind if you have kids. I just don't like bad kids. I don't like people with those three and four year olds that can talk, but the mother let them use a pacifier. I'm over this girl's house two weeks ago. We're sitting on the couch watching TV. Baby is in the middle of the living room playing. All of a sudden out of nowhere, the baby goes, you know I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, right? <laughs> like this is not a baby. This dude is making whole sentences right here. This is not a baby. So sometimes I think maybe it's me. Maybe I'm not a good guy. You know, the other day I went into a gas station. I picked up a couple items, came to like $5.65. And I gave the guy behind the counter a $10 bill. So I'm standing there waiting for $4.35 change. Well, he starts to give me change for 100. All of a sudden, I got a decision to make. Instantly, Evil Drew and Good Drew popped up on my shoulders. They gonna help me with the decision. Evil Drew said, take the change and snatch the register. <laughs> and Good Drew was like, don't be a fool, just take the change. <laughs> and that's what I did. Thank you guys so much. You're living a lie. <laughs> you never existed. <laughs> I have to change all my puppets. <laughs> well, uh, what did we learn on the show tonight? We learned that Jeffrey Tambor uh, likes to break the rules. <laughs> <laughs> We learned that... Uh... <laughs> Sometimes it's like a Beckett play in here. <laughs> and that's about it. <laughs> so let me wish you a good night. Sleep will now surely come. You can relax. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody.